All right, boys, we got some uh, BRP products. We're getting down to the, the nitty gritty here, boys. I don't know how you're shooting there. It happens, we got a wrong box. So uh, we've never used those before, but those are obviously your rear diff uh, protector slash axle protectors, the pieces that come up and wrap down and around. So um, rear skid plate's what I'm missing, um, which I already called, they had it in stock. So we'll have that here soon. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna try to use them. Let's see if they're effective. Rear hitch plate, and we're not relocating this rad, so we've got the uh, pre screen protector there, whatever you want to call it. All right, boys, watch me struggle. First things first. <laughs> wow, those are killer rivets. First thing, rivet can just snap with that. That's Woo! Bumper removed. Debris screen. You're gonna feed nut washer through the screen, through your spacer, and then you've got these little rubber guys which are just a bit tight and small, and that's gonna hold all your hardware in place until you can get it matched up with these guys, which you got little slots here. You'll see on the rad for these. installs except for the rear skid plate which I'll go grab tonight wait and we'll throw that on and uh, got uh, a couple more things that are supposed to arrive tomorrow afternoon so we'll keep at her man but this thing's almost done almost done I keep saying that all right we'll pick up right where we left off I went out to Wade's last night and got me the right part I do believe it looks like it by this box anyway so I'll we'll crack this open here and get this rear skid plate on and then I'm just ready and waiting on the old floorboards to show up, which according to the old tracking number, they couldn't be here this afternoon. So I figured I might as well get a head start, keep up the upgrades while we're at it, and uh, go ahead and get the old Can-Am rear skid plate that should be on the unit already, on the unit, so. 
That's where we're at. So. And just go with the three, if I recall. Solid. Solid, boys. Grab the guys on the way out. Slider way out. Now we got some armor. Just like the post guy said. Right on, Fred. I'm looking forward to these bad boys. Oh, yeah. We're going to be busy. Oh, you cut ATV in them. You didn't even tell me you're doing that. What is this? Oh, you didn't. Yeah, you did. Holy shit. Yes. Wow, well, we're getting out up in the trailer here somewhere. Where's this one going, boys? Check out the full wells. Oh, jeez, man. It is Christmas all over again. I'm from down here, boys. Oh, yeah, check out Fred Swag, dude. Look at this, man. We got custom Maverick. Guys can get a hold of those too. These floorboards are insane. Rock lights, halos. We're gonna be busy, boys. Killer. He's got uh, shifted where he's got the cutout of the farm money and put them on the inside of the board. 18 inch custom cup in there. I'm stoked. I'm totally stoked. Yeah, that's uh, that's in line, already done. Um, nice, man. Everything's all together, ready to go. Plug and play. These are going to be easy. Because that's less components than the last set I have. It's going to be even easier to install than the last ones. You've made everything super easy, Fred. In line fuse is already there, so. We probably are just going to take the quick connect right to the battery. Why wouldn't we? Alright, boys. So this is where we're at. A pretty easy process. I always forget the one on the headlights, because it doesn't look like it goes through, but it does. Same thing on the other side. I don't think you guys really need to see that, but I will show you the uh, the end all be all. So we'll be back. It's killer. Fred, you've advanced the lights a great deal over the years, man. They've gotten better. The setups have gotten way better, easier, friendlier to work with for the average job. There. So who's turning which way here? Just awesome, man. I can't wait. Totally stoked. We just downloaded the app, went in the house, and got that taken care of. Okay. So we're just kind of stringing, stringing our halos into place. Speed holes. Just too easy, man. Pulling the headlights out of these front gates is never a fun job. So it's like. I don't care what anybody says, it's just easier. You're never going to notice these anyways. It's not a big deal. String you through. There we go. We're laughing. Kind of. That's how we got them run, boys. And then they've taken these two up this side here. And, uh, and then we'll bring them around this side of the air box, I think, and tie in here. We'll come around the other side with the other two and probably bring them up. I think I brought them up through there last time. Um, 
looks good. We'll get all the wires and everything situated under here. Obviously, I'll take the tool pouch out. We'll put it back here in Fred's Pelican case that we got and create some room right there, right? So this will be where we're harnessing our goods. But so far, so good. We'll move on and I'll get these other two lights uh, stabbed in here. Then we will grab our main furnace here, which will end up having to be situated in this area. We'll leave those over there. We got the two short ones are for the rock lights. I'll probably pick up uh, tomorrow and finish this off, but um, this will at least get us get us a head start. Good morning, folks. So we're back first thing in the morning, and uh, we're gonna wrap up these lights and maybe get out on the trail today with the boys, because I know a couple of them are out there. So on the rear of the bike, easy peasy right here to the fender um, bracket. Really simple. Just zip tie it up there, man. And it's on there tight. She ain't gonna come off. Um, and on my 18, I just did an L bracket right here and used these two bolts, came out, drilled the holes, and bolted it in. But uh, there's no point. I did all that extra work for nothing. So up on the front, we're just gonna bolt right into the top here. Mount them here. Seems to be a great location. Um, and we'll be done with those. All right, so. Let's go over here yonder and zip tie these in place. So, just going to take out the uh, mount as our guide and run the drill right on through, right? So, super simple. Zing zing. X marks the spot. Oh, yeah, right. I've got to drill one for the wires. Yep, good to go. Run one of these right on up and through. Find our hole. Everybody get together. Try and blow. That's it, rack light installed. And then I just have to situate the wires and she's done, boys, so uh, bear with me. So I'm up running zip ties here, here and along the box. Everything's going under the seat. I'm gonna go back over to the other side and we'll do the same. Come up under where the seat is. So we're not pinching down and rubbing with our plastics here, okay? Okay. I'm gonna go find some zip ties. One thing at a time, boys, one thing at a time. That's it, we can let them set up now. So, this is what we got with the old app. We downloaded that by just scanning the little code that's on the box, and the app automatically comes up. So, what are we doing here? This is the first time, boys, so you have to bear with me. Do it yourself. Okay. Chasing. Oh, this is going to be a uh, strobe color shift. How? Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Well, that's going to give you a seizure right there, so let's go back to... Why have we lost lights? Oh. Shit, you can control all the lights separately. Oh, my God. Fred, there's way too much. Duh. We're just going to get out of here and go back to auto. Turn them all on. Oh, no. What have I done? What have I done? Solid. Hey, here we go. All right. Oh my God, it just goes on and on and on. That's pretty killer, Fred, man. The new lights are awesome. Like I said, the uh, rock lights hook right in with it, boys, so they're doing the same stroke effect. Check out the farm on the floorboards. Look at the clearance we got now. So we're rocking a set of the Maltese. They ever look wild, man. I'm digging it. This thing is done. Other than a set of tires, We'll pick a new fresh set. I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. What should we run this time around? Yeah, Stefan and uh, Greg are going to be coming out with me today. Yeah, man, I'm stoked. This thing is an animal. Yeah, that's wild, man. Digging the halo thread. That just goes. Boy, boy, it's awesome. Yeah, I'm happy. 
happy that the bike was pretty much complete.
SLG thus far has been just wicked. Oh, that's a good.